a novel, The Heaven and Earth Grocery Store, author by James McBride. With Brooklyn's captivating and inebriated people, James McBride created a tale that demonstrated the importance of communities, and he has done it once more with the Heaven and Earth grocery store, but this time, we're in Chicken Hill, a little Pennsylvanian village where black, Jewish and European immigrants, rich and poor, elderly and young and clash defending, fighting, amusing, feeding, and protecting one another, home is where you create it, and all of these outsiders are everything but, as this cacophonous symphony of personalities with all of their plans and desires demonstrates. McBride skillfully draws you in so that you too know the secrets they conceal, the grudges they bear, and the love they provide, making you feel like you're part of the neighborhood, and that these are your neighbors, friends and foes. The Heaven and Earth Grocery Store by James McBride is yet another compelling standout that is rife with the social, racial, and ethnic issues of a tiny community. In 1972, when workers in Pottstown, Pennsylvania, were digging the foundations for a new development, the last thing they expected to find was a skeleton at the bottom of a well. Who the skeleton was and how it got there were two of the long-held secrets kept by the residents of Chicken Hill the dilapidated neighborhood where immigrant Jews and African Americans lived side by side and shared ambitions and sorrows. Chicken Hill was where Moshe and Chona Ludlow lived when Moshe integrated his theater, and where Chona ran the Heaven and Earth grocery store. When the state came looking for a deaf boy to institutionalize him, it was Chona and Nate Timblin, the black janitor at Moshe's theater, and the unofficial leader of the black community on Chicken Hill, who worked together to keep the boy safe. As these characters' stories overlap and deepen, it becomes clear how much the people who live on the margins of white, Christian America struggle, and what they must do to survive. When the truth is finally revealed about what happened on Chicken Hill and the part the town's white establishment played in it, McBride shows us that even in dark times, it is love and community heaven and earth that sustain us. Bringing his masterly storytelling skills and his deep faith in humanity to the heaven and earth grocery store, James McBride has written a novel as compassionate as Deacon King Kong and as inventive as The Good Lord Bird. McBride's novel a mashup of plots and over a dozen main characters, each with his or her own history, weaves them together seamlessly with humor, empathy, and a determined sense of justice, ends the novel with so much poignancy and heartfelt sympathy for his characters that readers will be hard-pressed not to be moved. About the author, James McBride is the author of the award-winning New York Times bestseller, the Color of Water, a former reporter for the Washington Post and People magazine, McBride holds a master's degree in journalism from Columbia University and a BA from Oberlin College. Now, if you like the book you can get it through the link in the description of the video. If you enjoyed the video make sure to give it a like and comment. If there is anything you'd like to see in these videos, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe and activate the buzzer button. I'll see you next time.